Yes. Good riddance. He's a cannibal? What? Bro, what are you talking about, man? <laughs> you nasty. Hey, if you made this far and you haven't already, drop a sub on the channel, drop a like. Full reaction, full discussion will be on Patreon. Hunter Hunter reactions coming up next. Hey, just a quick thank you to all the subs on the channel. You members of the Nasty cast are the driving force that makes all this possible. Catch Director Nasty on Reddit, Patreon, and all other socials in the description below with links. Also, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Thanks again. What's up, you nasties? It's your man behind the cam director here with another Hunter Hunter reaction, episode 43 and 44. In the last set of episodes, we got the culmination of everything we've been building to. All this time, we've been building for the last arc since the Heavens Arena. We've been building to September 1st, York New City. We got all the players in place. Gon, Liario, and Ker no, Gon, Liario, and Killa are all in the city hanging out, trying to make money to be able to buy Greed Island. Right now, their running idea is to have Gon beat people and arm wrestling for money. Although me and Killer came to the same conclusion, yeah, that's gonna take too long. They need one big hit, one big sting, right? Somebody else is thinking about one big hit, one big sting. However, it's not who you think. It's a phantom troop. They decided to rob the underground mother sucking auction. They've decided to move against the mafias, the mobs, the dons, everybody. They're just moving against everyone and they decided it is ours for the taking, we shall take. Uh, it seems like they have some sort of pan plan in place where some of them went to go attack the arena. But right now we got Hisoka chilling with the leader and two other people. Hisoka looks like he's waiting to make a move on the leader. That's personally what I think. I think Hisoka's waiting to make a move. Uh, I don't know to what avail. I don't know what the point is. Is it a personal vendetta? Is it one of these situations where he just knows he's stronger or he's a worthy opponent so he's staying close? I want to know why his is pretending to be in the phantom troop but hopefully we'll get that or at least we'll see hisoka put in some work that be i'm interested to see that for sure absolutely oh uh, kapika had a moment with melody where they shared their origin stories just a little bit we learned that this death sonnet is a real thing she literally got messed up from it and her goal is to finish it is to find it and destroy it so nobody else has to go through it yo her arm was wild. I, you know what's crazy about it? It's sometimes in the subtlety of what they don't show you that just allows your mind to create whatever they want you to see. Like we saw like a shadow of the arm. It looks shriveled and fucked up and all kinds of shit. Her body is like completely morphed. She's like, I did not look like this. But she has a dope ability, so she knows he's telling the truth. He gets a feeling that she's telling the truth, but the attack is on. I, I'm, there's so many, there's so many unknowns in this attack on the underground arena, right? Because Killa and Gon are literally just chilling, just trying to make money. Like, is it one of these things the attack's gonna happen and they're gonna feel compelled to go stop the attacks? Is this one of those moments where it's like, they're gonna know what's going on, they're like, well, I'm not going over there. And Krapka has to handle everything on his own with his little group of Nen users. Like, it's, it's gonna be wild, it's gonna be wild. Interesting enough, I thought it was funny how they showed us that the fortune teller girl, her father, from what I gather, her father only has influence because of her. I don't know if I'm listening too much to Karpika's, you know, psychoanalysis, or if it's legitimate, because let's be real, that power is OP and it's all right. If it's used correctly, you can make billions, millions, charge these guys for their own fortunes. Oh, come on, that's genius but anyways we're gonna jump into this right into attack so if you made this front you haven't already jump a sub on the channel drop a like full reaction full discussion will be on patreon check the description for the patreon where you can find uncut unreleased hunter hunter and other anime reactions you might not seen or you might enjoy the reactions if you want to catch on live on twitch every monday and friday 7 p.m eastern that's also in the description hunter hunter reaction episode 43 and 44 it's coming right up 
a shocking tragedy? Nostrade? What a... What an appropriate name, Nostrada, because she can tell the future. Nostradamus, Nostradus. There has to be a link. I feel like. Oh, you couldn't convince her, bro. When did y'all convince her not to go? Interesting. Interesting. So to move up in the mafia itself. Bidding here is like its own way of just moving up. Like, you got to spend money to make money money, and they want you to spend money to make money money. Oh, that's creepy. Oh, my God. Dual machine guns, ambidextrous automatic weapons. Oh, that's crazy. Yo, they're getting shredded. Nen bullets? Oh, shit. Oh, no. It is a vacuum. No way they're going to take her out like that. It was that easy? Well, no, I shouldn't say that easy, but oh, shit. Yo. Yo. This is a wild Nen ability. I can't I couldn't even imagine this. And she's just gonna clean everything up. My man's head went flying. There, you got to do something. Head inside? This is wild. This is wild. This is literally wild. They're looking for them and they're in a hot air balloon. Oh, shit. Oh. He said, I don't think Judas is a traitor. Oh, he's saying why it wouldn't be. Oh, okay. I understand. True. What a good look at the situation. Damn. What a great assessment, bro. The Shadow Beast. You're gonna have to fight 10v10? Mm. Mm. Well, we see there's people that can manipulate dimensions. Hmm. Yo, Krav guys is chilling, boy. He's like, I'm willing to put my hands on these people. 
is crazy. I didn't expect none of this to go this way, man. Yo. He wants his turn. Nah, you should have just started shooting. Everybody just started shooting, bro. <laughs> Timmy. He caught it. Spit it back at him. You won't. He's literally just snapping necks and crushing the head. Holy hell. This is where an enhancer can end up. Are they going to be the first Nen users on site, though? That's the question. There it is. Beautiful. 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 You're comparing me to some little tank? Ha! Nope. I think I'm cheering for these niggas in the Phantom Troop right now. I think I'm cheering for them right now. Barely a scratch. Barely a scratch. What? What the hell? Oh man, if this is an enemy, y'all in trouble. Ew. Is that a turd? Oh, the shadow beast. Y'all are surrounding, y'all didn't even know. Y'all are all weirdos, but I'm here for it. What if like they're gonna die mad easy? Yo, that's episode 43 of Hunter Hunter. Things got wild. The Shadow Beast just showed up to avenge the Dawn and the Mafia families where the Phantom Troop just killed 500 people. Well, minimum 500. They killed 500 in the auditorium, which was then very cleanly vacuumed up and cleaned up by that Nen user. Shot that gone was arm wrestling. Yo, I was so surprised that Blaz went down so quick. I really thought she would have put up a better fight, been more elusive, but I guess if you can't kiss them, you can't really control them. She got back so fast, and her body is now just mush in a Nen vacuum. I thought that was a vacuum head, but I didn't want to say nothing dumb, and oh, it's so gross. But yeah, the Phantom Troop tried to rob the Underground Mafia, or the Underground Auction, but all the stuff in the vault was moved earlier by the Shadow Beast. And now the Shadow Beast are here after flushing them out the Phantom Troop. They're here to exact revenge and whoop some ass. If I'm being honest, the four people from the Shadow Beast who showed up, they're, they they look weird. I don't know. They have they look weird. They got weird names. I don't know what their Nen ability is gonna be. I don't know if their name is based on their Nen abilities. I don't know what they're about to do. Worm dude, the worm dude, I was like, this is gross. I didn't know if he was a friend or foe, or if he was a turd popping out of ground hole. It was weird. But allegedly, they are the four out of the 10 best fighters in the entire mafia. So I'm gonna go with they are to be respected, and I'm gonna watch my mouth. But I'm gonna need to see how they perform against this beast guy, this man of all men. He caught a bullet in his mouth. He beat he beat at least 300 men with weapons, with his bare hands. He was literally swinging four people at once and just let them go, and they went flying in separate directions. Man's got sniped. Man's got sniped and said, ouch. And do a rock bat. Do a rock back at him. I don't know. 
I'm so very happy right now that Kravka does not know he's facing the Phantom Troop. Because one thing I know, if he knew who he was facing off against right now, if he knew who was in that desert right now, he would go run out there with no hesitation and lose his life. I don't have faith that Kravka would not, would not be able to control himself and he would go out there and end up in some danger. I think just like the, the Shadow Beast said, I love you Kravka, I believe this group and then users are good in their own right, but until I see somebody, until I see this power scaling that they're going to come out with right now, where they're going to rank the Phantom Troop versus the top 10, four of the top 10 fighters in the world's mafia, once this battle is done, we will be able to see kind of where the boys would fall in. Do I think they have high potential ceilings and great learning curve? Yes. But do I think he's ready to take on this fight with the Phantom Troop? Nope. I don't want him to do it. So we're gonna see. Uh, we're about to jump right into the next one. So we're gonna find out. Made this front you haven't already. Drop a sub, drop a like, full reaction, full discussion. We'll be on Patreon. Patreon link is in the description. Check it out for uncut, unreleased Hunter Hunter and other anime reactions. Episode 44 is coming up next. Build up to a fierce battle. Nah, just give me a fierce battle, baby. Oh boy. Let's see what y'all got, man. And I didn't miss, he said, you could use Nen some. Some. Oh shit. Damn. He took that hit to fuck his face up. Oh, that's not good for you, fam. Oh, shit. Yo, what the hell did this man just do? Fist of Destruction, Big Bang Impact? Damn. Eleven. Yo, the way that hand... Hit the floor, bro. Oh, shit. Now he knows. The only thing that's left of him is what Uvo is holding. He's just throwing a straight punch with a little added Nen. That's crazy, bro. A little added Nen. Make sure you didn't miss that. Oh, gross. Oh, don't eat it. Gross. Interesting. Thank you for that. Damn, he really is a rabid dog. Oh shit, it's supposed to be fast acting. <laughs> yeah, you're gross. I was right to think you're all weird. Yes. Good riddance. He's a cannibal? Oh, 
Honestly, I'm glad the leech guy is dead. I ain't gonna act like I'm not glad he's dead. I'm not even gonna act like it. Oh, no fucking way. No fucking way. Oh yeah, his brain has exploded. This is unreal. No, somebody stop this man! <laughs> I stand a good chance. Ain't no way, bruh. Drink lots of beer. So it has to be dead for her. Krapka. No way. He was still alive. Well, for a second. Uvo's crazy, bro. Damn. Kravka really is a master enhancer. That's what I thought. He's not even looking at the road. He's like, fuck this road. Chain jail. Oh, shit. You're crazy, fam. Why? Mm, fair. Fair. That's a trade-off. I'm okay with that. Yo, that was episode 44 of Hunter Hunter. Let me tell you right now. Uvo is crazy monster. Ah, the Shadow Beast? To be fair, I had no connection with the Shadow Beast. I saw them and I kind of memed them and made fun of them. Rightfully so, because they were just as creepy and just as weird as I thought. However, their abilities were pretty fire. The worm guy, his was very obvious. Very gross, but very obvious. Good for infiltration and all that kinds of stuff. He actually had a really good jump on Uvu, but he and he tanked that hit. He survived two massive hits from Uvu. So I guess being wormy is kind of part of his being. So like that allows him to absorb a lot of contact to take a lot of damage and not quite be dead. That first punch, by all means, would have killed more most normal people without a doubt. That second big bang would have murdered just about any of the other three um, shadow beasts. But he happened to survive just barely, just enough to get help. 
The other in Shadow Beast, a rabbit dog. His was kind of cool but disgusting. Leech was not cool, just flat out disgusting but horrific way to go. And Porcupine was exactly what he said. I'll prick ya. But it's interesting that he can make some of his face super sharp like needles, but he can make the rest of them super soft and buoyant. Because he wanted to go punch a leech with the Porcupine dude, I'll just use an extension of my fist. He just grew a bunch of hair and made it super curly like a bed of pubes. You know, lay down, shot and let me show you what to do. And it just didn't work. It didn't work. Um, however, yeah, I don't I don't quite know how to say this, right? I'm trying to say, on one hand, the Shadow Beasts were good in their own right, but they underestimated their opponent. They were too sure in what they were doing. And on the other hand, Uvo is a crazy beast of a monster that is doing things that most other people can't even fathom or imagine, right? Like, let's just, let's just start with that outright. First, he's a cannibal. He bit the leech's, half of the leech's head off and chewed it. And ate it and swallowed it. He ate it. He said usually ugly people taste better. He's literally a cannibal. He's absolutely bananas. And then he spits the skull, kills rabbit dog. That's his own damn fault. I don't know what to say. His reaction was too slow. I don't know why he was overthinking. Did he, it was, you know what? It was that he thought his Nen was strong enough to stop whatever he got spit at him. He overestimated his abilities or underestimated Uvu. And then frankly for Porcupine, I, I don't know what to say. His was the most, was the most unsuspecting because I was like, so what are you gonna do? You can't move from the neck down. You're very clearly stuck in this position. Porcupine has no reason to let you go other than he should get closer and try to finish you off But he didn't let him he Exploded his eardrums and blew his brain the bits craziness Kravka I told you if Kravka knew that that was a phantom troop He would lose his cool and sure enough. He lost his cool Completely lost he was ready to go die melody saved him with that sweet sweet song of calming and relaxation He needed it However, his plan was still a go. He's like, I'm going to take one of these members. I'm going to constrain him. It's interesting to learn what, how he decided to use his abilities, right? He decided he's going to make it so he's going to use these chains and he puts restrictions or maybe he puts uh, stop gaps in the way, checks and balances in the way he uses his powers. And by sticking to his own covenant, his own truth, his own his own self-imposed restrictions, his Nen apparently makes everything else stronger. You heard him say, he uh, Uvo said, he's like, even if I wasn't paralyzed from the neck down, I would be having trouble with these chains. The covenant he put on himself is dangerous, but, 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 he said he would only use the jail chain. I don't know if all the chain or the jail chain. I'm gonna let the anime dictate which one it is. If it's a jail chain or all these chains, are only to be used for the Phantom Troop. So that means they're in hella trouble. However, we saw they're tracking them, they're following them, they're hot on their asses. Uh, I like Melody's Nen. I like how she uses her Nen. I'm interested to see what she's gonna do with the flute later. Don't think that I didn't miss that she has a flute. She said her friend played the flute portion. Now the odds are they're probably both flute players and I'm looking too far into it, but she could have been telling a partial truth with a partial lie in the story that you told Kraka. Moving forward, yeah, the hunt is on. Instead of instead of Kraka hunting the Phantom Troop, right now the Phantom Troop is hunting him to get their member back because he needs to drink lots of beer and he needs to pee a lot, a lot, a lot to make sure he don't die from the excruciating pain of these leeches. I'm going to be honest, from everything I saw from Uvu, even if these leeches gave birth in his bladder and he had to pee it out, I don't think he'll die from pain. I don't think he'll die from pain. He'd be like, oh, that's spicy. Oh, that's kind of spicy, bro. I don't know if he's going to die from it. Because everything I've seen would tell me otherwise. He is a beast. He is a man. He has a motherfucking problem. Okay, he's a goon. But what's a goon to a goblin? Goblin. <laughs> No, okay, I'm ending the reaction on that one. Uh, with that being said, if you made this far and you haven't already, drop a sub on the channel, drop a like. Full reaction, full discussion will be on Patreon. Make sure you hit that bell for notifications too. Uh, go in the description, check that Patreon link out because we have uncut, unreleased Hunter Hunter and other anime reactions you might be into. Also, I'm live on Twitch every Monday and Friday. That link is in the description too. Make sure you check it out. I'm your man behind the cam and as always, stay nasty.